Once again, capitalism is showing us what real freedom of speech it really believes in. On Saturday, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro lambasted American social media, in this case particularly Twitter, for shutting down the accounts of 180 Venezuelan citizens. Of course, all of these people were supporters of the Bolivarian government, and not one of them was an opposition account. This was particularly true of Venezuelan um, governmental institutions and revolutionary social activists. Now, Ernesto Verligas, the Venezuelan Minister of Communication and Information, wrote on social media that the Mina Flores underscore TV account was suspended after retweeting replies from Maduro concerning belligerent statements made by U.S. President Mike Pence. Uh, this is, you know, the the timing of that is, you know, I, I, I don't think should be taken as a coincidence. Mike Pence seems to be almost as thin-skinned as Donald Trump is. Now, Villegas argued that the arbitrary uh, suspension of mass accounts that were in support of the Bolivarian Revolution include the accounts of Radio Nacional de Venezuela, the national radio station, uh, Radio Mina Flores, among others, it counted to tantamount to an ethnic cleansing of former President Hugo Chavez, Chavez's revolutionary message. And that's really what this was about. This was about shutting down anybody who supports the Bolivarian government and the general Bolivarian revolutionary message. And I, I, again, this is a great example of the so-called freedom of speech that you get under capitalism. Now, President of Latino reported there was no notification given to these accounts before they were taken down. Uh, and that Twitter, a part of an international social media matrix, attempted to present the Venezuelan government as being part of the author of violence and repression directed at opposition demonstrators. Uh, this shows something very, very telling. One, social media is not a passive actor in movements around the world. And, uh, you know, social events that take place, particularly some as... Uh, charged, uh, very dangerous, as the current struggles in Venezuela. But we notice it's the Venezuelan government and the Bolivarian supporters that are being shut down, not the opposition, the ones that are actually carrying out terrorist attacks in the country. But it just shows how much that the U.S. is afraid of the Bolivarian message. I mean, they, they talk so much about uh, freedom of speech and that the right ideas and, you know, the marketplace of ideas and that uh, true freedom will rise to the top and a bunch of other, uh, you know, rhetorical language like that. But we see in the end, they are afraid of what the Bolivarian message holds. They are afraid of a cooperation among social forces inside of Venezuela that oppose U.S. interests and U.S.-backed puppets. And that speaks volumes about what freedom of speech is like in capitalism. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.